Shaw and Stacy. We sit stay with Stacy Slade, and we are trimming ears today. I know a lot of you guys need help trimming ears, and uh, Shaw has grown her ear hair out for us uh, to be able to show how we trim ears, uh, and so they look all pretty. I have two things I use. I use thinning shears. These are five and a half inch blade, 32 teeth Kenchi uh, thinners. You can spend 100 bucks on a pair of thin and shears that'll last you your dog's entire life. They're awesome. Or you can spend up to 500 if you want. Greyhound comb, any type of greyhound comb works. This is a cheap one, but it just does the job. So the first thing I do is I comb out the ear. So as you can see, Shaw has a lot of long hair. Okay, so the first thing I do is comb out all underneath it. Make sure there are no mats. If your dog has mats, it's okay. We take the thinning shears to them. All right, put the comb down. See all this extra hair that comes off the flap of the ear right here? I'm just gonna go up a straight line and cut that all off because I'm following the line of the ear leather. I don't want hair to come past that. So I'm trimming that all off pretty bluntly. And I come down here, this hair, I'm trimming all the way down to the bottom of the ear leather, taking it off. She doesn't need this hair. It just, it's thin hair, it mats easily. My blades are pointed down. I'm not going across. Blades are going down so you don't see my cut marks as much. Going down, straight down the ear. Take off that stuff. So now when she has neck, and a lot of this extra hair is gone. And then I take my comb again. Oh man, see I comb it and I still have stuff to go. So combing helps me, so all this stuff coming off the ear leather needs to come off. So combing helps me check where I'm at because hair moves around. So I, comb, I trim my line again. See extra hair coming off the ear flap. This all, oh this stuff can be trimmed down. Yeah, that's gonna feel so good, girl. Come down, all this extra stuff come down off the ears with my thinning shears. Comb again. Starting to take shape. So, all right, so I've got all the extra flappy ears gone. Take that stuff done. Underneath the ear, you can take that stuff all off. No art to that, just get your, and I'm going kind of deep. I don't make sure I don't grab hair or skin, excuse me, just all hair. Comb it out again so you can trim nicely. Okay, so now we have an ear that has lots of long hair on it. The breeze is helping us show the long hair. So what I do is I comb again and I'll comb it up so it pulls it away from the ear. Put all of this in it. And I just kind of cut out it at different angles loosely. I'm not touching the ear leather, ear flap, and just pulling that hair away. So taking these long scragglies with these thinning shears so it doesn't make a big cut, and taking the bulk of that hair off. Lots of hair. So then I comb again, and you can see I've got scragglies here, so I'm gonna kinda go up into them to get the shape of the ear leather. It's hard to see because it's black, but I'm, this is behind the ear leather. The bell of the ear is right here. I'm coming back behind it, kind of digging out an ear, if you will, and making it more defined. On the top of the ear, my blades are flat on the ear level, le leather, excuse me, just pulling some of this hair off and coming straight down the ear on it. Around the bell of the ear, we have an ear, we're finding an ear is what I call it. And you can also see that Shaw needs her ears clean, so we'll take a ear cleaner and a cotton ball and do that as well today. Good to do about every month unless you have ear issues and then you probably do it once a week. So I've got this extra hair here. I'm going to take a line with my thinners, make it a little bit of a harder cut, 
couple times so you have a, a kind of a sharp ear edge. Soften that up with a little bit of hair here, coming down the ear leather. And you're almost done. This is just some detail work. So, so you can see that Grinchy hair, pretty short hair over here, but I want to make I want to make it look a little cuter. So we've got an edge here. So I take my thinners, kind of round out the ear, if you will. They're kind of bent in this way, so I can shape it. Being a good girl, Shaw. Shape up this ear. And, folks, I think we have an ear. It's okay if there's a little bit of hair that's a little bit flippy because these are Bernese Mountain Dogs. They're not Golden Retrievers. They don't need to be trimmed super, super tight. I leave this hair pretty much the way it is. If there's long scragglies, I might trim the tops, but this hair stays here. This hair, hair, it's a little bit longer. So like if I, so there's still some long hair here, but if I trim, if I comb it down, it goes there. So, I mean, I can take off a little bit of this hair that's long, but I want some hair there. It's not taking it all off. And then, Shasha! She's not gonna perk her ears up, but you can see the difference. So we've got a well-trimmed ear here, so less hair here to get matted up, and she's doing a lot better. So we'll do the second ear and get back to you guys. Happy grooming.